Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers Happy Saturday. So it is a lot going on. Last night, we went to the Cat Williams Dark Matters tour. Um, me and my family and a few tea sippers and we had a really good time. So while I was down there, my phone was definitely blowing up about all of this drama that's going on with Glorilla and JT. And I was shocked, honey. I had to get up into it this morning and figure out what the hell happened between these two girls. Now, I know there had been rumors for a while that there was some type of beef between them, but it really went to a head yesterday. Now, let me say this first and foremost y'all know I love me some Glorilla okay James and Emily you know Emily is from Memphis she is a huge Glorilla fan they really put me onto Glorilla and I like her music I just like her personality that is my girl I like her okay um JT can rap too I do like JT I'm getting more into her I do all that wifey shit knowing he don't fuck with you I don't like Carisha y'all know that but I can you know deal with JT so I was you know I was kind of surprised like you know why are they beefing and then I had to remember you know Back, like, I believe it was in October, there was rumors of Glorilla. Glorilla had, you know, slapped JT. So let me go ahead and bring y'all back to how this beef really started, okay? So they were saying back on October 7th, one half of the city girls, JT, ended rumors that her and CMG's leading lady, Glorilla, had an altercation at the 2023 MTV Video Music Awards. And so basically it was being reported that um, Glorilla allegedly threw a drink and a purse at JT after an alleged snub. And that's what jump-started the fight. And they're saying that it was broken up by management. So this was rumored for a while, but people, you know, there was no video. So, you know, with the internet, if there's no videos, no pictures, no receipts, we don't really believe it. So now fast forward to this song that Glorilla just dropped the other day. And in this song, she's definitely spilling tea. She's calling out names. Names. And um, she's wishing that Nikki and Cardi B would collaborate. Uh, not sure why. We know that's not going to happen. But one other interesting thing that she says in the song, I, she says that her and JT are not best friends, but they're not beefing. Okay? Y'all go ahead and check out this snippet. I just pray one day the bad beaches will come together. Because Cardi and Nikki on the track will break some fucking records. Me and JT ain't the best of friends, but we ain't beefing. No beaches always have an animal. Did they keep a secret? All right, that's all I can give y'all, okay? So once that went viral, everybody was like, well, damn, what would even happen for her to mention JT's name? Was there some type of beef? You know, what? what is going on? Why would Glorilla bring up her name? So JT definitely felt the way. So somebody had said to JT, they said, do anybody know why Glow slapped her at the award show? And JT responded back and she said, she never slapped me ever, ever, never, like y'all find somebody else to play with. So then um, Female Rap Room had reposted JT's response and then JT retweeted it and she says, I been says she didn't. She's the one who went radio silent, played into it, released a song about slapping rap bitches. Now it's female unity, corny. And then somebody says, uh oh, so she's been subbing Glorilla all this time. JT replies back and she says, no, the F I wasn't. I don't know these girls like that to have a problem with them. I always wish them the best first. Then JT says, I honestly thought Glow was a real bitch, but she's not because all that shit with the FNF remix too came in the game messy and phony, ready to switch up on your homies, had to jump back on the roof. Now, if you guys don't remember, um, JT killed her FNF remix verse. Like, I'm talking about she slid, okay? <laughs> Flashback. I'm F-R-E-E. -E. Hold up, stop the beat. Okay. I'm a motherfucking city girl. Ain't shit free by me. All right, that's all I can give y'all, okay? So y'all heard that snippet. JT was on the FNF remix, and I think she probably felt like Glorilla didn't really promote it as much, or she didn't get a lot of shine off of it. But I think out of all the remixes of FNF, I think uh, JT's was one of the hardest. 
Now, what else was really interesting is if you guys remember, there was some issues with Sweetie and Glorilla with the F and M remix, with the F and F remix as well. Sweetie had even bought Glorilla a wig. Um, she was supposed to be on her remix, and then all of a sudden, it didn't drop. It's just something so beautiful, like seeing a woman who's coming up. Yeah. So I saw F and F, and I was like, I gotta meet her. Flew her to LA. We cut it, shot the video, and I had a really good time with Glorilla. So then people caught Sweetie liking the beef between Glorilla and JT. So people were saying, Sweetie has joined the chat. And if you see, she liked the mugshot picture that JT had posted because, again, she's still salty about how Glorilla played her on the FNF remix. I talked about this over a year ago, so y'all gonna have to go back and watch that video. Then JT says, she's been picking and I don't care because there's no reason to. Like, girl, what was all that for? Just saying it's no beef, childish as fuck. So JT is clearly addressing Glorilla's new track where she said they don't have no beef together. So then at that point, you know, Glorilla, AKA Big Glow, it's the G to the L to the O, Big Glow. She steps onto Twitter and she starts going off. So Glorilla says this, I mentioned your name to clear the air. What you wanted me to say? I didn't slap you, but hit you with a purse instead? Scary ass hoe. You know that's how Glorilla talk, honey, okay? Then JT comes back and says, oh my God, you are a liar. Bitch, you didn't hit me with shit. Fanned out ass bitch. You approached me sounding like an old beat up box Chevy. What up, gang? Then Glorilla says, don't make me pop up in one of them backyard barbecue shows you doing. Feeling away about slapping rap bitches and making bail ho. Guess that's the last run in you had thinking you was the only bitch I touched. Then JT proceeds to post all her mug shots, honey, from, you know, mug shots of Christmas past. She posts all these mug shots and then she has a blank one, completely blank. And she's saying that that blank mug shot is a pending mug shot, meaning if you step to her, she's willing to go to jail. Okay, take me to jail, throw away the key. That's basically what JT's saying. So then Glorilla comes back and she's like, inmate 0983 was taking off her shoes like she was going to get to me. Didn't know if her ass was trying to get active or sturdy. Lying about getting touched is crazy. Then JT says, fake ass street bitch, always bringing up jail, but was crying about how you ain't have a bed until you was 15 years old, sleeping in hotels. I'm confused. Are you street or just poor? <laughs> Not are you street or just poor, child. Then Glorilla says, girl, them mug shots is from you stealing, not fighting, bitch. Shut the fuck up. JT says, the last one will be from me poking holes in you like that air mattress you was sleeping on. Oh! the shade bitch these girls are ruthless so if you guys don't know glorilla was on club shay shay talking about how you know they were so poor they had to sleep on air mattresses and where the air and when the air mattresses would pop her daddy would have to patch up the holes and then re-blow up the air mattress we've all been there okay we've all slept on air mattresses i know i have okay so jt really went there i'm here for the shade though that was a cute little clap back you go girl we see you watching club shay shay sis then Glorilla says, yeah, you slower than me. I'm done arguing. Get up with me in real life. I don't do no internet. You gonna win every time because I already heard you going broke anyway. Then Glorilla says, ho, shut your dumb ass up and fix them ugly ass wigs. I said ain't no beef, ho. You the one with the secret animosity. Then JT says, ugly shouldn't ever leave your mouth, Joe. You look like you were born feet first, pussy ass ho. Don't mention me again. Secret animosity? Why? Now, what's very interesting before this song came out, I don't know if JT had privy to it or what's going on, but if you guys remember back on April 3rd, JT all of a sudden took to her social media page and she started going in. She said, says bitches be sneak dissing letting they funky wannabe me ass friends hype they head up but when I come just know I'm not gonna play with neither one of y'all bitches y'all long overdue hating ass bitch so a lot of people were thinking that she was subbing Carisha or you know Saucy Santana but now I'm clearly seeing this was about Glorilla so they been had some type of beef and animosity, some type of back and forth child. It is a mess. Then this started floating around. They're saying that this was a post and delete that Glorilla posted today. Because somebody has said this. They said, 304 skin, bad hair, bad eyes, bad music, just bad. Y'all seen them edited SSA videos of this 304. Stop overthinking JT can't fuck with my folks. So that's what that person posted and Glorilla posted it too. And this is a very unflattering picture of JT. Looks like she has eczema or something. I don't know. And then Glorilla deleted it. So 
now there's all this debate on social media about, you know, um, their looks, who's prettier, Glorilla or JT. People are screaming colorism, that folks are just saying that JT's not as pretty because she's darker. People are only hyping up Glorilla because she's lighter. Child, whatever. I'm not even going to go there. I think they're both of them are beautiful girls. So yeah, the whole thing is a mess. Um, I'm here for it though, but I want them to put it in the music. I don't want to see y'all fighting and catching cases and shit like that. Y'all are getting money. Y'all are both talented. Keep it in the music. I'm, I'm here for the rap beef, but just keep it in the music. I don't want y'all, you know, pulling up on each other. I don't like that. Now, another thing I will say is that um, Glorilla's new song just dropped today with Meg The Stallion. So, you know, this might be another situation where Glorilla is willing to, you know, beef and go back and forth because now she just dropped her new video with Meg The Stallion. Pussy wet, good ass neck, that's me. So why talk how? So she just dropped this video last night and already has over a million views. And I honestly like the song. I will say that Meg Thee Stallion and Glorilla really compliment each other on this song. And I do like this song with Meg Thee Stallion and Glorilla better than I do Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi on Bongos. I was here for WAP, but Bongos, I didn't like that. But I think this is definitely a bop. But I have to be honest, I'm getting some sexy red vibes. Go Meg, go Meg, get them glow. Get him glow. It was definitely giving me that. Go sexy. Go sexy. It was definitely giving me that vibe, but I was definitely here for it. Either way. Go mad. Go mad. Get him glow. Get him glow. Get him glow. Go sexy. Go sexy. Go sexy. Go sexy. So I'm getting a little bit of sexy red in there, but I'm definitely loving the visuals. I'm loving the music video. I just like Glow. I just, I like her attitude. She just seems fun. Um, you know, and Meg look cute. You know what I'm saying? She look cute. But yeah, I'm definitely liking this new song. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, child. Let me know whose team y'all on. Are y'all on team Big Glorilla's team? Or are you on team JT? You know what I'm saying? How do y'all feel about this? Do you feel like, you know, Glorilla really did hit her with a purse and JT's just salty about it? Do you feel like they been throwing shots at each other um and then who do you think is better as far as like rapping jt or glorilla and then last but not least let me know how you guys feel about the new meg the stallion and glorilla video are y'all here for it are y'all not here for it so let's get the discussion popping feel free to leave your comment down below i look forward to reading your comments make sure you still subscribe to the channel feel free to share the video and i will talk to you guys later deuces if you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.